Today we'll look at how to warp text in Affinity Designer. You can start with text like this and make it look like this. I'm here in Affinity Designer. Let me start by creating some text. I'll select the Artistic Text tool. I'll make two separate words. I'll click and drag. I'll type good. I'll click and drag to copy this. I'll just create another word, vibes. I'm using this font called Whimsy Boho. It's one of those fonts you'll see on these retro shirts. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Now to warp the text, the first thing I'm going to do is create our target shape. And this is mostly just as a reference. So in this case, I want to put it into a circle. So I'll use the ellipse tool. I'll draw a circle here. Let me drag it to the back. So let's take the word good and let's put it roughly in the place we want. I'll put it right there. Now I'm going to start by using the quad warp tool. So with my text selected, I'll click the warp groups down here. And for this first case, I'm going to select quad. So I'll click this. And now I have these four points where I can control my text. So I can click and drag the corners and fit my text to that shape. Notice how on the top left, it says quad here. And it'll stay that way as long as I just use these four control points. But I can also drag these lines in the middle here. So I'm gonna click this middle line and drag it up. And I'll let go. Now if you look over here, it's a mesh warp. And mesh warp is kind of like the catch-all type for the warps. So I can drag these edges here, get the text to fit in the right place. I'll bend that down a little bit. Put this here. We're kind of going for a retro vibe here, so it's supposed to look a little bent and twisted. Now you can see with the points, we have these handles on them, and they can also be turned. Usually I like to have them be a straight line through the control point there. You can make them like 90 degrees and things like that, but sometimes you get crazy effects. So I'll keep it straight. Now I feel like the last letter, the D here, is a little bit squished. So if I hover over the line here, you can see there's that little squiggly icon next to the arrow. I'm gonna click on that. And now it adds a new set of control points here. And I can actually pull this out to make the D a little bit bigger. I can swing this out there, bring that up. And now I'm a little more satisfied with the size of that shape. I can do the same thing on the other side. I can click here and I can bend this out. And the G and the D are more easily read. Maybe I want the O's to be uppercase. So I can select my text tool again, double click. I'll delete the two O's. I'm gonna hold shift and put the O's back in. And maybe this one will look a little bit better. So with the warp group selected once again, I'll drag this down. I can see I'm getting this red line because it doesn't like the spelling. That's because I've mixed uppercase and lowercase. I'll select my text tool again. And I'll just right click and say ignore spelling. So I like the way that word looks. Now we can do the same thing with our other word here. And I think I want it to be all uppercase except the I. So let me change that. Once again, ignore the spelling. Let's start with a quad warp again. I'll select warp group, quad, bend it down, drag this over here. I think that's simple but effective. And then you can keep modifying this to best fit your shape. And here we have our final result. If there's any topics you'd like to see in a video, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.